Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This week I'll be showing you my version 2 of my semi-automatic breeding farm. So I'll go over the changes with you guys. So I've still got the main breeding tower here in place that I've designed uh, quite a while ago. But these are the main changes I've been playing with. I've now got a pick up and drop off system installed. And so we, well, over here we've got switches. We can select sheep, just say. And we can hit call cart here. It will call a cut from a mine cart dispenser that I've built downstairs up to these platforms here. They will spin around on the platforms. Sheeps will be able to get access to those carts, getting in the carts, and then we can hit the button for spinner here, which will send them off down the tracks here and load them in to the actual breeding machine. Now from there, you can load up the machine, breed them, do whatever you want, but when you're done, I've also put in an automatic unload system so we can hit the button hit hit the switch hit the button and then it will completely drain the machine and put them back in whatever whatever fa whatever animal you wanted to breed is paddock so for sheep it would send it back to the sheep's pen um, it would break the cart in this machine here the cart will be sorted out and shot off the side here so for us to pick up the sheep will come out the other end here back into the pen safely so that's how this this new system is currently working and it works for um, for cows sheep and pigs as well what I've tried them all and it definitely works so what I'm gonna do now is uh, set up my bed and um, sleep the night then we're gonna give it a test fire and I'll show you guys how it all works okay guys it's another fresh day Let's um, begin by selecting what animal we've got. Now, since I've got mostly sheep, I'm going to do sheep, then cattle, straight after it. So, let's start off by selecting the sheep button. And we hit the button here to call the cart, which may take some time. And it will call the cart from underneath. Underneath, as we can see, sheep get in. And that's how that works. Now, we come back to here. We make sure that the auto unloader is off, or else the track system will be selected wrong. So that is off, so that's good. Now we hit the spinner button, which will unload the sheep. Sending them up the top, we hit call a cart so we can get some more sheep. Sends them up the top, in the machine. Hit the trigger here, so they drop down one pen. And then we've got more sheep there ready to go. Hit the spinner again. Easy, don't have to do any, pretty much anything. And that's it. So I'll fill all this up and we'll continue. Okay guys, now I've easily filled up the um, the main tower here. So now we're going to start breeding for the people that haven't seen my breeding tower yet in Hello. action. Has left the server. So what we'll do now is um, we'll, we'll, we'll make the machine go and uh, just to show everybody that hasn't already seen it. So, all we've got to do now is hit the button here. Two sheep will drop down here, like that. And then we just breed them. Little baby will come out underneath. And will go out the side here. We'll come up this mob elevator. And it will come out into a little holding pen. Now, I have not got any other system set up yet for the processing part of them. I will soon. I've just been mainly fixing up the the pick-up and drop-offs, as you will. I will have something set up soon. So, now all we have to do is hit the switch here and send them back up the top. Which will now send us a fresh pair of sheep for us to breed. And that's how it works. And they'll drop it out, drop a little baby out, and send it down and around, underneath, and out the side here. So guys, if you've got any suggestions on the end part here, all I have to do is figure out this end um, part to, I don't know, slaughter them, cook them, de-wool them. I've got, I want to make some sort of factory. I just wanted to make sure this part of the factory was set up and 100% working, and it's and it is working. It's okay, working guys. Fantastic. Now we're going to talk about unloading them 
Now we want to. Now we got them. We bred them. Now we want to completely unload them. So all we have to do for that is hit the unloader switch on. Make sure the pen that you want to unload them into is selected. So the sheep pen is selected. Uh, we don't need that open anymore. And all we have to do is hit this button here. And that will start unloading them automatically, sending them back to the pens instead of up, around, and in the pens. Now let's get a shot of the machine up here in work for you guys. Here we go. So they'll come up, drop in, and this is where it gets sort get, they will get sorted. See? Now some of them will get wasted, some of the, the carts will get wasted, but most of them will be filtered. Because I cannot put a block in front of this, or else this machine will fail. So now they're coming out the side here, the sheep will come out, down, some of them will get hurt, some of them won't, depends if they take the normal stream. Sorry about the lag, there's a lot of sheep here. And then we cut down off this platform here, and we go around to the side, and here come all the carts. So I'm going to make a ladder or something to get up there to, to collect the the carts I didn't get, but that's my this is the unloader part thing. And yeah, so uh, it works very, very well. We must have it a death, but it works extremely well. I think we need to turn the automatic unloader off. So the automatic unloader is now off. And yeah, so I may have to breed some cattle because it doesn't look like I have enough cattle to um, to go crazy. So just quickly breed these guys. What I'll do guys is pause the video, breed them, and then I'll show you how the next Okay part guys, of it works. I'm back and we're ready to um, play around with the, the cows this time. Instead of the sheep, I'll show you how to switch it over and everything else. So first off, we want to go deselect the sheep, turn that off, and turn the cows on. Now the reason why we got to switch all these switches is because it will, underneath us, it will select the right track in many places. One, to call the cart up. Two, to, um, to put the cows back in the pen. So there's many, many tracks got to be selected. It's all connected up. So once we've uh, selected the cow, we can call a cart which will call two carts up from um, underneath us right now. They should be on their way. And there they are. Fix up two cows. Go to make sure that the unloader is off or else they will go back to the pens. And then hit the spinner and what this will do this time instead and yeah hit the spinner they will go back underneath and it will deselect the track and select back onto this track now. So it will shoot them back up to the main here. This is the main area. This is where all the pigs come to, the cows come to, and then we hit the spinner again to unload them, call up some new carts. So that they will go up the top and load it. Hit the button. There we go, down a slot, two new carts come up, two new cows are in, hit the spinner, they go underneath, and they go to the main center spin, spinner part, and then you just hit the spinner again, oh yeah, you hit the spinner again, and you keep doing that until it's full, but I'm not going to fill it up, you guys get the, get how it all works now, and the same with the, same with the pigs, all we got to do is select pigs, Press call cart and the cart will go over there and pick the pigs and bring them back to the middle and shoot them off. So let's quickly unload it. It's getting dark. Actually, right now I'm just going to pause the video and sleep for the night. Okay, it's a fresh day. Now we're going to unload the uh, the cows. So we've only got two of them in there. We can mix and match if you like, but we're not going to do that. Hit the unloader and turn the button on. Now the tracks will be selected to the right tracks and we'll shoot them off around the back of the farm. As you can see it's all working. 
And instead of going up, it will go at the back of the farm just here. So, out they go, down they go, right around, and they'll go up the top there. There you go, there's one, sorted, sorted, another one, sorted, another one, sorted. Cows will come out to his side, carts will come out this side, ready for collection. Because at the moment I have to have to design a a special button so we can load uh, we can load the um the cart dispenser down below because what I've done is a similar cart design for for the cart dispenser designed like this massive one underneath this pen here all goes all the way down and cut instead of cattle or, or pigs or whatever carts are all in these and that's how you call a cart you press the button it goes down and here comes our carts now. So that's how it works. It, it's uh, not a hundred percent yet, but I'm still trying to get out all the kinks and bugs and stuff. But it is working, and you do get oh, most of your carts back. Sometimes there's a little little flow problem in uh, in one of these. Is a flow problem. I think it's this one. I got to fix, which um, items will get stuck in the actual canal, which I will fix later on. But as as you can see, it is pretty much up and working. We just got to finish off the um, the killing part of it. So yeah, and th that's how it works. I I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video because this took me quite a long time. There's hundreds and hundreds of tracks and and redstone running in all different directions underneath us right now. Oh, I spent days and days and days trying to connect it all together and test it and oh, all sorts of problems were arising but it seems to work now it seems to it seems to work fine as I said I just gotta now we just gotta figure out the um, the the end part here the final process I've got to think of something like that I have I have a I have a design in my creative world which I will work on later on and see if I can can't get something up so the whole key goal is just to really sit in here into this control area and just breed it so you don't have to go anywhere that's what I really really want and you know I need to connect these canal systems up so they come down here somewhere so we can get the carts and then we can like I don't know just here we'll have a loader to load the call caller cart thingy majig underneath here so we can keep calling them up or, and selecting selecting what we want from from cows to to whatever so that, that's what I really, really, really want to do. So eventually we'll get that far, but I'm not sure if the uh, this track bug here is going to be fixed. It is RC2, still hasn't been fixed, works absolutely fine. And if people want to know how to do that, I'm pretty sure I can do a tutorial. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, give it a thumbs up, comment, and uh, please subscribe. I'll catch you all later.